In the last few lectures, we learned how to update the elements of an array field. Now let's also learn how to add and remove elements from an array field. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you different ways in which you can add new elements to an array field of a document. Let's go to Mongo shell. And here we are again going to work with employees collection. So first of all, I'm going to query the employees collection using the find method. If I press enter, it is going to return us all these employees. Now let's say I want to add a new skill for this employee, John Smith. So first of all, I'm going to filter this employee. So for that, I'll say DB dot employees. And we want to update one document here. We want to update the document for John Smith. So let's use update one method here in the filter criteria. Let's say name is John Smith. Let me copy this name from here and let's paste it here. Okay. So using the name field, we want to filter one employee and there we want to add a new skill for that employee. Currently, if you see John Smith has two skills, developer and tester. I want to add a new skill for this employee. So when we want to add a new element to an array field, we can use this dollar push operator. And here we can specify in which array do we want to push an element. We want to push an element in the skills array. And then we can specify which element do we want to push. So here we want to push an object. In that object, we want to have a name. So name of this skill, let's say is a full stack developer. So I'll simply say full stack. Let's add level, maybe four. Okay. Now you can also add some more fields if you want, but I'm only going to keep two fields, name and level. Let me copy this command. Let's paste it here. So just notice that currently this John Smith only has two skills developer and tester. Now if I press enter, you will see matched count is one, modified count is one. So if we go ahead and if we query the employees collection again, now you will see for John Smith, we have three skills now and this skill is newly added where it says full stack. Now with push operator, we can also push duplicate data. So if I want to add the same skill one more time using the push method, I can simply go ahead and I can do that. So I can run the same command where the name is John Smith and I want to push skills. And in that skill, I want to push name as full stack and level as four. So if I go ahead and if I press enter, you see the match count is one and modified count is one. So that means this document has been modified again. If we query the employees collection, now you will see we have four document in the skills array for this employee. And out of that, these two are duplicate records. So with push, it is possible to insert duplicate records. And using push method, you can also push multiple documents at a time. Currently, what we are doing, we are pushing a single document here. But if you want to push multiple documents, what you need to do is to this skills, you need to assign an object like this. And in that object, so I think we are missing one closing curly brace here and in that object which you are assigning to this skills where you want to insert a new document there first of all we are going to use dollar each operator okay and using this dollar each operator to this we can assign an array and in that array we can specify what documents we want to insert so when you want to insert multiple documents using push you use dollar each to that you assign an array and in that array, you specify the new elements which you want to insert. Then you can also set other options. For example, you can also use sort. So before inserting the new elements in the array field, in this case, in the skills field, if you want to sort them, then you can sort them first and then you can insert them. So for example, let's say here, I want to insert two documents. Okay. So let's say name should be backend developer or i'll simply say backend and level is four the second skill let's say name is 
maybe full stack and level is two so before inserting these two documents if you want to sort them first and then insert them then you can specify the sort criteria here so here let's say we want to sort by level so we can say level and we want to sort it in ascending order so in this case what will happen is these two elements these two skill documents they will be sorted in ascending order using this level field and then it will be inserted that means this document will be inserted first in the skill array and then this skill document will be inserted in the skill array so you can also sort the elements which you want to add to an array field before you add it using this push method and you can also use slice operator here so if you want to extract some field which you want to insert you can specify slice for example if i only want to add the first element from the specified elements here i can say slice one so it will take the first element and only that will be inserted only that will be added to the array field so these settings also you can do you can insert multiple documents at a time using this push method and this dollar each method if you want to sort them before inserting you can use sort and if you want to extract some elements from the specified array which you are going to insert then you can use slice so whatever you have sliced only that will be inserted okay but we don't need it here so i just wanted to show you this of course i can go ahead and run this command and it will insert these two elements in the array or actually let me show you that so what i will do is i'll remove this slice from here because i don't want to extract anything so what i will do i will sort the elements which i'm trying to insert here and then i want to insert them so here i'm trying to insert multiple documents let me copy this and let's go ahead and let's paste it here and let's run this command so one document has been modified let's query the collection again and now you will see that in the skills array we have six skills and as you can see they have been sorted by level in ascending order all right so this is what push method is using push method you can insert multiple documents at a time and it also allows you to insert duplicate documents but what if you don't want to insert duplicate elements in an array for that instead of using this push method you can use add to set method now when you use add to set method you cannot do things like adding multiple documents to an array field or sorting the elements in the array field that is not possible with add to set so here let me go ahead and let me use add to set instead of push and what do we want to add first of all we want to add new elements in the skills array so we will specify the skills array and then we need to specify what do we want to add so here let's say i want to add a new element to the skills array where the name is again full stack okay and let's say level is two now in this document where the name is john smith we already have a skill where the name is full stack and level is two so if we try to insert this document it should give us an error it should not insert this document so let me copy this command here let's paste it here and if i press enter okay here we have an error because here we have a spelling mistake it should be add to set let me copy this let's clear the console first and let's paste the command again let's run the command now you'll see matched count is one but the modified count is zero so it found one document with this filter criteria but it did not updated that document because there we are trying to insert a duplicate value that's why it did not updated that but let's say if i change the level to maybe seven so we don't have any element in the skills array of john smith where the skill is full stack i mean we have an element where the skill is full stack but where the level is seven so this will now not create a duplicate record if we go ahead and if we run this now 
now you will see the modified count is one and if we go ahead and if we query the employees collection now you will see that here we have one more skill added with the name full stack and the value is seven so earlier there was no element with the name full stack and level seven so this is not creating a duplicate record that's why it has been inserted here okay so this is how add to set works add to set is different from push operator because push operator allows us to add duplicate elements in an array field but add to set does not allow us to add duplicate elements in an array field and also using add to set we can only insert a single element to an array field but using push operator we can insert multiple elements to an array field at a time so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture in the next lecture let's learn how we can remove an element from an array field